Look at here and give me seeds. Thank you. this congratulations I have discovered a living example for study and this is the same type of megazoa as the deceased example we encountered earlier it is immense and complex alert of the known megazoa this megazoa is the most enormous and the most availing we will call it a levitroph this levitroph is capable of availing the electrochemical energy provided by the alveopirus. That is a strange symbiosis. It lives on the power generated by the harvesters. No. This levitroph does not require alveopirus for livelihood. The alveopirus energy provides an unknown function. It is 81.124% likely that this function will become less unknown when the biomass in this chamber reaches level 5. Level 5 Harvester So Levitroth Is massive And we have to somehow awake it. These near zones are massive. You can't catch them. Oh, yeah. Oh, three of them have made the Way, their way there. Good to know. So I can't go through them through here but I can uh, throw seeds through the through here Set up an open We need level 5. Fill that one spot. Oh, everything just so close. There are two spots here. Not one. Two spots left to fill. Oh well, let's leave them to it, and meanwhile, 
Let's try to... What is this? It's inside there. Check down there. Level four. You are here. Go and get more. See if at least one of them is able to reach up here. Almost. This goes where? This goes this way. This is where you are. Now... Let's go heal. Now we also need more seeds. But I have no idea where those seeds went. Come back here. What is that? Magma. Extremely high temperature molten rock presumably sourced from deep underground either the mantle or core mantle boundary. No 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 no, I don't want to go here yet. Although I did uh, find the new hazard. Magma projectiles. Pockets of gas trapped under magma will sometimes cause a periodic explosive eruption ejecting a projectile of molten rock. Watch for the telltale sparks that precede an eruption. Will do. But I still don't know what this is. Can I... Oh. Can I go in there? No. Oh, no. This almost reached. I guess this is our only way to get the last remaining ones. You too, please. That should be enough. 
Yep. What is going on? Art, what happened? Was that the Megazoa becoming active? An event has occurred! This event is this Levitroph Megazoa availing energy from the Alveopyrus. Scans indicate a Levitroph provided with this energy is capable of expansion with force in excess of 5.62 times 10 to the 5th Newtons. Expand? If the Levitroph had expanded with that force, it would have destroyed this chamber of the cave. Attention! This Levitroph availed a portion of the possible energy. Additional energy is currently not being directed to it. So if this Megazoa were fed more Harvester energy, it would push upwards with incredible strength. Hmm. It reminds me of the acidic life form that dissolved the upper reaches of this cave. Why has Left Cavern evolved for self-destruction? Interesting. Why indeed? Levitrop. This large and complex Megazoa. It is really huge. Looks like a totem. Are found extensively in Left Cavern and are activated by the electrochemical energy provided by the Alveo Peridae. They expand when activated, pushing upwards on the cave ceiling with tremendous force. The Levitroph are generally distinct life forms suggesting an atypical evolutionary history. Ow. This is getting dangerous. What are these? Paranzoa drive in extremely hot locations and possess the distinctive feature of producing explosive seeds. Because Feranzoa only take root in acidic fertile terrain, they have no enriched form. Explosive. They can't carry more than five. Ooh. Fireball. A feron seed that makes contact with magma will erupt vertically in an explosive projectile. We found magic. Okay, I think this is good enough for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.